smart cities or things in general. I mean, by 2020, there's supposed to be over 50 billion connected devices. So all those devices are generating data and communicating up to the cloud. Data in itself really isn't interesting as a consumer. What it is is that information that's generated, and here at Intel, of course, right, through we both have connectivity, communications, as well as the cloud infrastructure through the servers, and then beaming that back to either the end user, the thing, or the smart city, BIM, et cetera. So I absolutely see the geo data as well as all of things connected. If you if you take a look at smart cities and you break that down to this to the elements of the city, one of the things that we as surveyors and geospatial professionals want to do is we want to participate in making the water system smarter. We want to participate in making the energy systems, the um, road and railway transportation. If we can deliver safe, clean water, take care of sanitation, help reduce energy, as well as getting people to and from work in the city, we've effectively made the city smarter. We as geospatial professionals have a key role in this because before you can actually improve on things, you've got to know where things are, what their conditions are, and how you actually how we can monitor the improvements that have been made in those in those elements that make up the smarter city. Well, the free and transatic city of Hamburg um, intentionally used a different term. We don't call it smart city, but digitized city. We believe that the process um, of um, digitization is uh, multifaceted, and all these facets, facets um, need to be dealt with. Uh, our administration here in Hamburg is very committed to this. Um, they are very committed to digitalizing their processes and digitization, um, big data, this was mentioned at the beginning. Uh, this is all well and good and we are still at the very beginning, particularly in the geo area. Building information modeling is very closely linked to big data. More and more data are coming up and we need to make sense of this data, turn them into meaningful business cases, business models. And these are up and coming. So we all know what smart cities can do for us in the future and how this can contribute to improving facility management, for instance. And we know what's that to do with safety and security of buildings. Um, evacuation, Firefighting, all of this is based on uh, more and more data, and for us, this means that um, we, well, we see ourselves as a community. We are an association for people working in this industry, and for them, we want to reassure them um, and help them overcome obstacles because for many, many small companies, this is still new terrain, which they are not yet used to, but um, building smart um, is there to help the users. Oh, well, I do think so, because who wants to see old or obsolete data and obsolete reality? So uh, we should strive to have live data. It could be drones, for example, that are permanently across a camera, or it could be surveillance camera positioned somewhere in a city. It's all thinkable, but the industry still has a long way to go on its way to transformation from the very um, beginnings of um, um, measurement where you had uh, three coordinates x, y, z and today it's more mobile, it's getting simplified and this is how all software solutions are created so that uh, the process from raw data from is uh, now stretching towards original data but uh, Mr. Walden this is not not enough. Nobody is interested in data, but in information, you said. So this data has to be transformed into information. And we can nowadays see that countries within uh, three years are updated in a map. And this will go down to a year in the Western world. In China, it may be every three months, because there is a different dynamism there. And at some point, it will um, be real time. It's uh, a journey, and we have to be prepared as an industry. And we need to take customers along. So from 2D, we use that a lot, also in the construction industry, the transformation into the 3D world, and uh, getting information out of data. So it's a 
a very exciting era ahead of us. I think there's going to be a lot of organizations offering BIM capabilities, but I think one of the things we're going to do is how do we get this building into a model that can be used to improve the efficiency of the building, the safety of the building, um, if you think about from a public safety standpoint, evacuations, things like that. But before you can actually begin with all of your work on the modeling and the analysis and the improvement of the building, we've really got to, um, we've got to capture the information about the building and that includes you know, scanning of the building and actually figuring out what's behind the walls, bringing that all into a model that can then be used to, to improve the building. The ascending technologies, by acquiring ascending technologies, we feel that from a commercial drone perspective, we acquired one of the best-in-class drones available, particularly for the commercial segment. Now, why is it that we did that? First, people typically think of Intel as a chip company, and we're well beyond just chips. We have everything from, I have a wrist-worn Intel device that I'm wearing, all the way up through the data center. And again, if you look at drones, and particularly from a geo-mapping perspective, they generate well over, in some cases, 50 gigabytes worth of data with each job that's performed. And so that data, once again, needs to be, through connectivity, fed up to the cloud, where information that's valuable to the customer or consumer is created that then real time, as we were talking about, inclusive of smart cities, can feed back. So we view drones as more than just a flying computer actually drones as one of the things or those 50 billion connected devices and Intel we have an Internet of Things group we have a wearables group and so we look at what are those different areas that will continue to feed the data center and being a compute company we can then analyze those workloads and essentially speed them up or accelerate them either through our technology or by improving our hardware in the future so we see that drones fits directly into Intel's overall cor corporate strategy of continuing what we call the virtuous cycle of growth.